a difficult day for two communities as they say goodbye, gathered together Laurel and Ocean City firefighters, along with supporters, loved ones, and friends of the late Alan Schweitzer. The firefighters have gathered here at the Laurel Firehouse to show our utmost gratitude and respect and to lay Alan to rest with the respect and dignity that he deserves. He will be saluted as his final salute. Uh, then once we all sit and gather with the family, uh, it's a time for us to celebrate Alan's life. Both departments partnered to honor the longtime member and recently appointed councilman who lost his life in a motorcycle accident just last week. Many of the men and women seen here shared stories of his infectious personality and the bond he created between the towns of Laurel and Ocean City. So Alan served here in Laurel and Laurel and Ocean City coming together to remember Alan has been, uh, it just, it's, there's no words to describe it. Uh, the teamwork, the memories, and just the both the departments coming together. But that bond isn't just between departments. As the public information officer and past president of Laurel Fire Department, Brian Whaley, tells us that many departments throughout Maryland and Delaware have also showed their respects and support. We actually, uh, upon learning of Allen's untimely death, uh, we had standby crews so our guys could take time and, and not have to respond to calls. Other, other companies covered our district. The outpouring from the other, uh, our neighboring departments, countywide, statewide, has been tremendous. Justina Cornell, 47 ABC.